to watch with C-SPAN or have been able to hear, be with us here today to actually understand the structure of our government and how it was designed because it's, it's my personal opinion we've gotten away from some of that. So let me just describe you for a second uh, my position and it leads up to the question that I'm going to ask you. I'm actually a member of the Intelligence Committee, which means that we reviewed this nomination. And I have questions that I care about that were somewhat different than the ones, that, the valid ones that the Senator from Kentucky is raising. And as a member of that committee, I asked those questions. The nominee answered those questions. But we have a job to do. I think that's what's important for people to understand. Members of the Senate have an important constitutional role to give advice and consent on these nominations. We have an obligation not just to pass these folks through, but to actually ask serious questions to determine if they're qualified for the position they're going to hold. I mean, you want your senators to be doing that, and both parties, no matter who the president may be. And, and so I undertook that effort as part of the Intelligence Committee. I asked my questions. I got answers to my questions questions, uh, believe that the nominee was, was, was qualified, believe that the president has a right to his nominees, even if they're not the people that we would nominate, believe that ultimately these nominees deserve a vote. And that's why, for example, yesterday I voted to move this nomination on. Now, just because, just as the president has a right to his nominations and ultimately to have a vote on those nominations, so too do members of the Senate have a right to their role and in particular to ask relevant questions on issues of important public policy and get answers from the administration. This is not, and I think sometimes this is being lost. We have different branches of government, but they're co-equal branches of government. The presidency, the executive branch, is it an important, it's, absolutely it's important. It's the commander in chief. It's the top single office in the nation. But the legislative branch is a co-equal branch with a job just as important. And in order to do that job, we have to have access to information, the ability to ask relevant questions and get straight answers. And to be frank, you know, sometimes I feel, when we ask questions of this administration, like they feel like it's beneath them to answer questions from us from time to time. And I think that's very unfortunate. I think my question is, when you're here today, Senator, raising these issues, it's my opinion, and I'd like to hear what you have to say, you're, this is more than just an issue of, of the constitutionality of this particular program. It's a defense of this institution. It's a defense of the legislative branch. It's a defense of the Senate as an institution, irrespective about how you feel about the nominee or the nomination or the program or where you fall on this constitutional issue. It's a defense of this institution and of its constitutional, not constitutional right, constitutional obligation to ask relevant questions of public policy and to get answers. To ask questions so the people back home will know the answers to these questions. If we're not going to ask these questions, who's going to ask them? The press? Maybe in a press conference. But that's not what they're paid to do. That's what we're paid to do. That's what we were elected to do. So I'd like to hear your, your, your views on that because my belief from what I'm picking up from everything you're saying here today, you're actually on the floor here today standing up for the obligations that this institution has to ask questions like this and to be able to get straight answers.